What's up? My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Prop by Infinite. And today I'm gonna show y'all how to make melodies from Mac J. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna need y'all to like and comment on this. You know, that's all I'm asking for. If y'all want to sub, y'all want to sub, y'all can do that too. I'm cool with it. But I mean, just just hook your boy up with a like and a comment real quick. Let's get into it. <laughs> So first I have this piano up in analog lab five. Here's how it goes. So with these type of melodies, you want to make sure they're like really simple and the easiest trick to get like these like really dark sounding eerie melodies is to stick to like the notes that are adjacent to each other like this right here like that right there it helps out a whole bunch and just make sure to just keep it simple overall you don't need to do anything crazy uh this one right here in particular is the american concert piano in analog lab five and the processing is really what took it over the top for this one so i put on the vinyl one preset for rc20 and the wobble is really what took it and made it like special you know what i mean so i threw a whole bunch of reverb on it distortion on it a little bit of noise a little bit of magnetic a little bit of eq but the the wobble is what makes it really really different so like watch listen to it right now now without the wobble just adds so much more character when you put the wobble onto it Next up is the strings. Strings just make everything seem more grand and more epic and everything like that. I always think they make everything a little bit more high quality. You feel me? So these are the strings I did. It's just basically following like the top melody for the most part. And for these, I really like to make sure that the velocity is really low for the strings just because it makes it sound a little bit more soft and ambient. And then this one is the sad strings and SRX. Now the next thing that I used was this synth bass that's in purity. Um, you could obviously go for like the Anna bass or like the, the other one that's in SAR. So you can get that real like sparky sound. But I wasn't really trying to go for that necessarily. I was just trying to go for like a dark Sacramento type feel. I wasn't necessarily trying to be like a, a sparky clone when it came to this melody. So this is what it sounds like. <laughs> And then I took RC20, put the Bass Wonder preset on it. But here's the trick. I took an EQ, and I also cut out all the low end for the bass. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to get a sub bass. This, one's in, this one is in Citrus, by the way. You know I me mean? Stock plugins for the win, you feel me? And the reason why I did this is because I wanted a really clean low end, so when you play in the car, it still slaps. But it has that cool, distorted high end that makes the melody like more cool and unique. You know what I mean? So together, this is what the two basses sound like. See, so you can tell it's two different sounds, but when you play it in the context of the whole loop, it sounds like one bass, and that's what you really want to go for. Then next up, I got this little arcade thing right here. Got a couple of vocals from Crave, and this is what they sound like. And for the effects, I actually got this from another YouTuber. So, ooh, I forgot his name, but I'm gonna try to find it and put him in the description. Um, so it's the Fruity Love Filter. Just copy the settings. Literally, he gave the permission to other people to copy it, so I'm gonna give y'all the permission to copy it too. Got the reverb right here. Just make sure to screenshot this and just copy the settings later. Fruity Chorus, EQ, and a delay. And that's it. Makes it super easy. And then last thing, I just took the original melody and the MIDI from there, and I put it into a pad in Purity. This one right here is the analog pad. This one's really good for, like, dark stuff. So make sure to use that one if you need to do, like, some dark melodies. You know I mean, 
nothing too crazy. That one, I don't even think it has any effects on it. Now, nah, just the EQ to take out some of the highs and some of the lows, and that's it. All right, and then that is how you can make melodies from Mac J. My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Pop by Infinite. Peace out.